My name is Leah, and welcome to the kitchen. Today, we're going to be kicking off Oktoberfest by making homemade pork schnitzel. Let's get started. For this recipe, you need some boneless pork chops, an egg, milk, breadcrumbs, flour, vegetable oil for frying, a lemon, salt, pepper, garlic powder, and chili powder. Place a boneless, fat-trimmed pork chop on top of a cutting board. Line it with some plastic wrap. Begin pounding the pork using the flat side of a meat mallet. Ideally, you want to flatten the pork chop to a quarter of an inch thick. In a shallow pan, measure a half cup of flour, add in a teaspoon of black pepper, a teaspoon of salt, a half teaspoon of chili powder, and a half teaspoon of garlic powder. Stir with a fork to combine. In another shallow bowl, add in one egg and three tablespoons of milk. Whisk with a fork to gently scramble. Add three quarters of a cup of breadcrumbs into a third tin. With all the bowls lined up, begin dipping the flattened pork chop in the flour mixture, followed by the egg mixture. And then lastly, coat it with the breadcrumbs. As you are coating the pork chops, be sure to cover and coat all sides of the meat with each layer. Lay out the breaded pork pieces on a tray. Fill the bottom of a large frying pan with some vegetable oil. Turn the heat on medium high and heat the oil to 330 degrees Fahrenheit. Place each schnitzel in the oil and allow to cook for three to four minutes per side. The schnitzel will be done when the internal temperature reaches 160 degrees Fahrenheit. Now that our schnitzel has been all finished in pan frying, we're going to squeeze some lemon juice on it and top with our favorite Dijon mustard. Squeeze a lemon on top and add a dollop of Dijon mustard. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more delicious recipes. 